All right, so I'm going to show you how to set up uh, Facebook leads, Facebook lead forms inside of Go High Level, and how to ensure it's set up properly because there's a couple of things that you have to do in the setup process that if you don't do them, everything is going to look perfectly fine from the back end, but the leads won't automatically come in. So it's really simple, especially if you're already familiar with how Facebook lead form ads work. So I'm not going to walk through how to create lead form ads, but um, basically over inside of Facebook here, you know, you create your lead forms, you name it, whatever you want. You ensure that it's, you have your, your like name, address, email, phone number, whatever fields that you want to have in there. And you go ahead and save and uh, publish that lead form. Okay. So once that's done, you go into high level here. And the first thing you want to do is set up, make sure that you have GHL integrated with Facebook. So you just go to settings and you're going to go to integrations. And here we can see that I already have Facebook connected for this account. Otherwise you would just click this button here to connect. It's going to open up the page. It's going to walk you through the steps, select your account, select the page or ad account that you want to integrate into GHL, then you're good to go. Once you have this connected thing here, this new field, will, this new tab is going to show up on the top here called Facebook Form Fields Mapping. And when you click into that, it should list out the forms that you have connected to that page. So here we have two. We have one, and then we have a copy. Okay, so when this first happens, now this is very important, the status field is going to be blank. There's not going to be anything here at all. So what you have to do is actually go in and map the fields. So you're going to, you're going to click map fields. It's going to open it, open up this modal here. It's going to try and detect the fields automatically. So you may open it and it's going to say email, email, full name, full name, phone number, phone number. Excellent. So you, that would make you think that it's already connected. It's already linked to the right fields and it's already good to go, but it is not. You have to make sure you click save. If you just close this out or click close because it looks fine, your status is still going to be blank. And if your status is blank, it's not going to pull in any leads at all. So make sure you look at the fields, they're mapped to the correct fields and you click save or update. When you do that, you're going to, the status field is going to have this, uh, this checkbox type of field there. So you can turn them on or off, but here they're turned on by default. Okay. So now we've taken care of setting the form on Facebook, integrating Facebook with GHL, enabling the forms. So the next thing we need to do is set up a trigger so that when these, when Facebook pushes leads to GHL, something can happen. So we're going to go into automation. Then we're going to go into uh, a new sequence or an existing sequence. And what you want to do here is Facebook lead form submitted. That's what you want to look for. So if you were to click on add new trigger, you can just type in Facebook, Facebook lead form submitted. You'll add the filter because you have to select which form. So you would say filters in form, you select the form that you want, you click save. I'm going to click cancel because I already have mine set up correctly. Now that is a trigger for this sequence. So when Facebook pushes the lead to us, we have the forms enabled. It's going to see this trigger and this sequence is going to run. And from there, typically what would we would do is just send an internal notification to the app, create an opportunity, send an email to the client, letting them know that a new lead has come in, but you can set up the sequence, obviously, however you want. But if you, if you skip any of those steps, it's not going to work. So a couple of times I've seen where uh, there have been issues and the problem was either there was no form selected or the wrong form was selected or most common, inside of the settings going back to integrations when we go to the facebook form field mapping screen the status field here is blank 
So the status is blank, meaning they click map fields, the modal came up, everything looked correct, so they just closed it out. So it was never actually connected. Super, super important to make sure you follow that step right there or nothing's gonna work. Even though your workflows look good, your triggers look good, the integration is set up, the forms appear there, the forms have the correct information and the fields mapped, it's not gonna work unless that status field is there and it's turned on. So hopefully that was helpful. Go out there, set up some Facebook lead form ads and start generating leads automatically in GHL. Take care.